Today I'm bringing you my new version of my Void Hunter build using Omniaculus for infinite invisibility. These clips are just a couple of times that I was able to save my teammates with this build. Very very good for end game content. It, this build has been around, you know. You know it. Alright, it's nothing crazy. But we're going to be starting with the subclass. We'll be using Mobius Quiver, but that fall is a viable option if you would like. Gambler's Dodge is absolutely necessary. I like Vortex Grenades. Vanishing Step is crucial so that we can go invisible using our dodge. And Trapper's Inbush allows our smoke bombs to make us go invisible and gives us the ability to use the Shadow Dive, which is also necessary for this build. I'm using Echo of Obscurity, so finishers make us invisible, but you could change this up if you want to do something else, uh, and one of the new fragments, or, you know, give yourself all the rounds, stuff like that. Echo of Starvation is what lets us have Devour, and that's our healing for this build. And Echo of Persistence lets our Devour and Invisibility last longer. Pretty simple and it all works together uh, for the mods and perks i am using volatile flow from the artifact but that doesn't really impact the build it's mainly just for ad clear if you use a void weapon the main focus of the build is the omniaculus exotic it gives you two smoke charges and it gives you damage resist while you're invisible and when you make allies invisible they get damage resist and you also get melee uh, energy back if you make two allies invisible you get your whole uh, smoke bomb back, which is very good. And the helmet we're using Dynamo will be dodging near enemies a lot, so that will give us super energy. And then you need a, a way of creating orbs, and then you can kind of do whatever ashes to assets, maybe if you want, or ammo finders. In the gauntlets, we're using firepower because we'll be using our grenade quite a bit to create orbs. Bolstering detonation gives us class ability energy on grenade damage, and that's also very helpful for the build. Grenade Kickstar will help our grenade just come back faster and it all will be super fun. The chest play, just resist mods or reserves, whatever you feel like. I'm using charged up just so that we have more charges, but you really don't really need to if you don't want to. And the pants are double insulation, so every orb will give us a chunk of class ability energy. But you could change this for, I don't know, Absolution or Innervation, so that it also helps our grenade. It's up to you, but recuperation is unnecessary. Stacks on stacks, I really like this mod, it helps me get full, charge, full armor charges faster, but you can use a weapon surge mod if you like, or whatever you're in need of. In the class ability, in the class item I should say, Utility Kickstar is crucial so that our class ability comes back faster. Reaper is a, is a reliable way of creating orbs and it works well here. And Bomber gives us grenade energy every time we dodge. Also very good. That is it for the, for the, the mods. Now for weapons, you really can use anything you want. Avoid weapon always works well. Creating orbs, especially volatile flow, but it's up to you here. Lastly, I wanted to show you how this build actually works. To have the infinite invisibility loop, you open up with a shadow dive. That gives you 9 seconds of invisibility. Once you get to about 2 seconds, you want to dodge near enemies. That will refresh your, refresh your invis timer to 9 seconds again, instead of the 7 that Vanishing Step gives you. From there, once you're about to break out of invisibility, you can throw a grenade as you saw, or you can get a weapon kill to activate Reaper and create an Orb of Power. But a grenade will give you class ability energy on damage and on kill will spawn an Orb. So it's a, it's a viable option here. And from then on, you just keep doing the same thing. Shadow Dive, once you get about two seconds, dodge near enemy. That will give you your smoke back and it will give you, uh, it will be able to activate Reaper and it'll give you some grenade energy and then you ju you're just chilling with the homies here just hanging out if you have a smoke bomb you use this it was a shadow dive i should say never use the smoke bomb unless it's a complete emergency and here you can see that the invisibility loop was broken that was because i messed up at one point and i dodged a little too late and it refreshed my timer to seven seconds instead of nine but 
It only took about a second to get my dodge back. It was fine and dandy. And here, I'm gonna throw my grenade and that will top off my class ability and that way I can go invisible again. So having bolstering detonation is very nice for those moments. And this is essentially the build. And then when you have teammates, you can think about trying to keep them invisible, you know, save them from an enemy that's coming at them. But really, if you're playing solo, all you have to worry about is your own invisibility timers and whatnot. This build is very, very good for in-game content. It gives you a lot of safety and you can also weaken targets as you shadow dive around and it's very very strong if you watched this far thank you very much leave a like if you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one